Here is my orrery tellurium inner gear showing the construction. Here's the the base going together. It's a base with uh, eight supports. There they are. Here's the rotating arm moving quite freely. Uh, that in the, that gear at the end there, which is inserted in, you just see it spinning there. The axis is glued into that gear, so the axis spins with that gear. The second one, moving quite freely. This third centre gear is um, fixed and it's anchored in place by that wooden dowel there, you see like that. And then when the arm moves, that uh, gear stays still. The half of the large inner gear just rests on the, those base supports. And that's the second half there, completing the inner gear ring. Here's what I'm calling the dish. Uh, it uh, slots onto that axis. The axis is glued into the gear, as I previously said. But that dish spins freely on that axis. Here's another video I made, um, which might help understand the construction of this. Um, you'll see that white gear there. It spins freely on its axis and will engage with the inner gear You'll see it in a minute. There. So as the rotating arm is moved round, that white gear is driven. That white gear will drive uh, the dish that's going to be inserted on that axis that's coming out of that rib washer. Uh, fixed underneath the dish is uh, a gear identical to that white gear. See it, uh, the dish go on there, there, so that uh, the dish is rotating and then the moon ring will sit on the lip of that dish. And then the earth stylus will go a tight fit on that axis so that uh, the position of the uh, inclination of the earth will be held fixed giving us the seasons. At the end of that Earth's axis, the bottom end, you'll see a, the Earth's axis, by the way, is a, a bicycle spoke that I've used. You can see a small nylon gear, and that rests by gravity against the inner edge of that dish. And as the dish rotates, it turns the gear, and uh, the Earth rotates. Oh dear, I've just noticed I've made a mistake here. In putting this together this morning, uh, I've put the two halves of the inner gear on the wrong way round. So uh, you can see the inclination of the earth there shows uh, we're coming into midwinter and we're just coming into June on the calendar ring. Oh well, I'm not going to go back and film it all again. I have to live with it. As I mentioned before, those three large gears on the rotating arm are responsible for holding the inclination of the Earth, uh, Earth's axial tilt, in a fixed position to the background stars, which gives us our seasons. That large gear wheel that uh, 
the base is standing on um, has no relevance at all. It's, um, it's just an old gear that I had uh, that I cut out and stored badly and it's now warped so it can't be used for anything else. So it's been pressed into action as a, a base here. The large inner gear has 99 teeth and the gear that drives uh, the what I'm calling the dish and also that drives uh, the moon has 8 teeth. That's a ratio of uh, 99 to 8 which is 12.375. That means on this model the moon orbits the earth 12.375 uh, times during one complete rotation, that's uh, one year. The actual number of lunar cycles per year is 12.36 approximately. Uh, so this is pretty accurate on, on that. I'll let, uh, let it run for another half rotation and then I'll bring this uh, video to an end. Um, I hope it was useful in explaining how the thing works.